When God was giving talent, boys were just too late. So they try to put me down, but it makes me more ambitious. Success is sweet, but revenge is so delicious. Hey, it's gonna hate. On everyone, Strider's back with another pregame stats breakdown. Starting off on the red team, we're going to have Lux, Lulu, Ramus, Ezreal, and Jarvan versus the blue team, who has Aatrox, Twitch, Blitzcrank, Lee Sin, and Zed. So starting right off at the top lane, we're going to have a nice match between Jarvan and Aatrox. Definitely don't want to miss this one. Uh, Jarvan mains 80 carry while Aatrox mains top, so it's going to give him a little bit of an advantage, but the fact that he's a brand new champion and has never been played by this person before as well, it's going to be a little iffy. I really don't know how this is going to swing. Jarvan has only been played by this person 11 times as well, and that's also not a lot of experience. Uh, so going off of overall win percentage, uh, Jarvan is up by 0.14%, which is even still not a lot. So literally, I... I have to go with overall win percentage, I suppose. So I guess we'll go with Jarvan on this one. And then if we go into the mid lane, we're going to have Lux versus Zed. Lux mains 80 carry while Zed mains top. Um, so it don't. it's hard to say where this one is going to go as well. Uh, but Zed can also be played top, so you never really, really know. Zed's been played by this person 18 times, where Lux has been played by this person 7 times. So I think that gives Zed a little bit more of an advantage. Uh, that, and I also think Zed's mobility is going to give Lux an extremely hard time to lock him down. Um, so from that, I will definitely give the advantage to Zed. Uh, then if we go into the jungle, we're going to have another interesting match between Ramus and Lee Sin. Ramus is a jungler that you don't see that frequently. Ramus ma is maining jungle while Lee Sin mains top. This gives Ramus a huge advantage. Ramus has been played by this person 161 times, which is a ridiculous amount of times uh, to play Ramus, I, I must say. Uh, Lee Sin has only been played by this person 39 times. It's still a lot of games, but definitely nothing compared to Ramus. So I'm definitely going to give the advantage to Ramus on this one. Then if we took take a look at the bottom lane, for AD carries, we're going to have Ezreal versus Twitch. Ezreal mains jungle while Twitch mains AD carry. So this should give Twitch a pretty big advantage. Ezreal has been played by this person 44 times, though, which is quite a bit, where Twitch has only been played by this person 24 times. Although Twitch has dual queued with his support, this Blitzcrank, which should give them a massive advantage as well. Uh, but then on the other hand, Lulu main support and has played Lulu 879 times. So I think I'm definitely going to have to go in favor of the red team's bottom lane as well. But if you add up all the wins and losses that everybody has... Uh, you'll see that the red team has an average of 53.83% chance of winning, where the blue team has a 54.31% chance of winning. So uh, it's about a 0.5% advantage in favor of the blue team. Let's go ahead and get in the game and see what happens. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Strider's back with another episode of the Diamond League. And yes, we have Aatrox. I'm very excited. And he is using the skin as well, the Justicar. I don't even know if that's how you say it, Justicar. I hope it is, because that would be embarrassing if it wasn't. But <laughs> either way, <laughs> uh, it, it'll be a really interesting match. Uh, basically, we're following Aerodactyl. Uh, he's pretty, pretty high up there, solo queue player, but I don't know very many other people. Uh, I am Doughboy. I have seen him a few times. Uh, rule 18, that sounds familiar, but that could just be a 4chan thing, I don't really know. Uh, but everybody is, yeah, everybody is Diamond 1, there's, so it could just be a huge influx of new players, because I have seen a lot, a lot of new Diamond level players, once again. So it wouldn't surprise me, uh, the only thing I'm really excited to see is Twitch Blitzcrank. Uh, it sounds a little weird, but if Twitch can land uh, his uh, not expunge his Venom Cask and then get the expunge, or just get that Venom Cask, uh, it'll slow them down, and then Blitz will be able to get an easier grab. Uh, it's still not guaranteed, of course, but it'll be easier. And having an easy grab or easier grab is always good. It's never bad, never ever 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 bad to have an easier grab. And so if they can get that and then get a couple more auto attacks and then follow up with the expunge, that could be 
a really excellent kill. That and the fact that they are duo queuing. Oh, Blitz. Oh, no, he's not going to go in for it. See, Blitz didn't have any vision in that bush, so it could have been all five of them. They had no idea what to do, and the red team is going very, very far ahead. I really didn't expect them to kind of just be up here uh, with the other team having a Blitz crank, and two members, like two members of the red team weren't even there. Uh, one being Jarvan, who can't do too much in an early fight, unfortunately. Until he's level 2, he just can't really do all that much. It's very depressing, but... Uh, it's still uh, very, very dangerous. Minions have spawned. So minions have finally spawned. The wolves, again, will spawn at 155. Same with the wraiths now, just like the other buffs. Um, so there's going to be a lot easier leashes or a lot bigger leashes on these buffs than there are on anything else. Lee Sin's actually going for the really early red buff, which I think is great. Um, but I don't know what he's going to do. Ooh, Ram is actually picking up the early power ball. Very interesting. Go away, Trax. Ooh, nice light binding followed by the auto attack. And you gotta keep in mind that uh, Lux wants to proc her passive as much as po as much as possible. So if she hits with a spell, you know you are kind of marked, and uh, the next auto attack will do bonus damage. And that's why you see you have to like chain Lux's spells perfectly, and that's what makes her so difficult to play. Uh, one of the reasons I really like Lux is because she's she can be very bursty, but in order for her to be very bursty, you have to be very talented with her. Ooh, Atrax getting jumped up on by Jarvan, but he is just going to jump away. So it's a nice job by him. Oh my gosh, a huge grab! Actually, very dangerous situation to put him in. Wow. <laughs> Blitz grabbing Ezreal could have been the death of Twitch. That was very, very dangerous. I'm not too sure about that one, though. Looks actually doing a really good job against Zed, and now Lee Sin going in hard in the paint, getting those red buff auto attacks down on a Jarvan. Jarvan actually goes down pretty low. This could be very good for Atrax. Oh my gosh, his head tries to go and do a little bit of damage, but Lux just easily backs him off once again. Uh, Lux does have some pretty decent disengage, just strictly from that light binding. Nice power fist going down to Lulu. Lulu's really behind the lines, and this is not good. He actually grabs her out of safety, or out of danger, into safety. Uh, since there's still minions there, Zed now going real hard in the paint, going up against Lux, and does flash for the kill. Lux uses her flash, and wow, a nice interrupt on Atrax's jump, preventing him from really going anywhere and doing any damage, and now this is a very dangerous position. Ignite followed by the pokey, is it enough? Uh, he has the health push going on, no it won't be enough, he's gonna get away. Very safe try, and oh man, that is not good for Twitch. Twitch does end up going down. Very devious positioning for them, but oh my gosh, this could be really bad. Oh, nice grab into the tower. Blitz does pick up that kill. No assist going on to Twitch. Twitch just stayed there for way too long. He was low for so long. They tried. They were tower diving for so long. It's just not a good situation for him to be in. Oh, no. Leeson did not do it fast enough. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that could have been a real nice double kill. And now Jarvan is going down very low by Atrax. Yes, he will be able to finish it up just with his sheer amount of auto attacks and lifesteal that he gets later on. Uh, and wow, this is very dangerous for him. He's still getting attacked by the creeps. Taking a lot of damage, but he will be able to get out of there safely. It's a good job by him. Good job by him.
The CS in top lane is actually pretty much the same. It's 28 to 26. Atrax just barely getting a lead, but now getting initiated on by Ram as this could be bad. Hey, no, Atrax is going to go in on him. And this is not a good situation. But once again, Lux getting completely compressed on by Zed. Zed is level 6, and he's not. Oh, Lee Sin coming and gets the safeguard. Does as much damage as possible. They are easily going to be able to pick up this Lulu. Nice feeding the kill to Twitch as well. Uh, giving that kill to Twitch is really going to help him out. He is behind. He's ahead in CS, but and so now he's pretty much even, if not a little bit ahead. With Ezreal being kind of shoved out of the lane, there's not much that they can do. I'm a little bit worried for Lux at this point. Oh, no. This could be a really nasty sponge coming up. Oh, nice. One more. Two more auto attacks. Oh, the barrier is going to keep Ezreal alive. Just barely. Great job by Ezreal staying alive, but is it going to be enough? Atrax has no blood stacked up. This could be dangerous for him. He's going to be able to get a slow on. He's down to almost half health. Lux smashed Zed with a laser, but wow, Zed is back at full HP already. So no worries on his side. Just kind of surprising. He's doing a great job of just staying alive and doing what he can. I'm kind of surprised he hasn't gone in for any more kills. Once he hit level 6, he had a pretty big advantage between level 6 and 7. He is up by about 10 CS, so he did a little bit of zoning. Lux now has blue buff, which is very, very dangerous. But uh, Zed, he can just spam as much as he wants. He's not having any difficulties whatsoever. Nice pop-up coming out from Jarvan. This is going to be good. The ultimate now coming out from Atrax. This is a nice pop-up from him. And now... What is going to happen? The Cataclysm now in the mix. Oh, Atrex's attack speed and lifesteal is just way too much for him to handle at this point. It's very confusing playing against new champions a lot of the times. Because um, you don't know how to act. It's, it's hard because you don't know how to gauge the opponent. At the same time, you're like, oh, it's a new champion. They don't know how to play him. But at the same time, that person could be playing on the PvE, so have a familiarity with them. Also, you don't know how many games they've already played. Or if they played in uh, practice for a little bit, just kind of get down the combos and uh, get down a couple of the matchups. You don't know what their previous games are like, typically. So it's very possible that this Atrax has played five previous games and played against Jarvan those five times. Or at least one of those five times. So he knows the matchup a little bit better. Knowing matchups is very difficult. Oh, this is very dangerous. Ezreal does get exhausted. And Zed now coming in with a huge ultimate. Getting a nice kill on that. Is going to be... Ooh, double kill from Twitch. That is a huge double kill for Twitch. And he needed that. And Jarvan actually picking up... Oh, Jarvan actually gets the assist on that one. But... Oh, this is not good. It slows, constant slows coming out on Deluxe from Zed. But she's going to be able to successfully get away. Uh, and that was pretty close. That's a really good pickup for them. They needed to kill Atrax up top. Uh, it sucks that it went on to Rammus. But Rammus is coming on to Zed from behind. He's going to be able to living Shadow away from it. So, nice job at saving those very important cooldowns for gank attempts. Ramus is an excellent ganker, especially if he has flash up, and especially with those boots and mobility. That's just, it's so terrifying. So he has flash, he can easily just powerball into somebody and flash a pretty decent gap. So I'm a little bit worried about there, but Lee Sin and Ramus are about to collide here in the jungle, and I don't know what is going to happen. The ultimate is coming out from Ramus, and this is pretty huge. A nice taunt coming out. Is Lux going to come out from the side? She could get a light binding. No, there's going to be a follow up. But now. Wow, yeah. I don't know if he's going to be able to. He does flash out of it. Oh, and the safeguard. But the taunt goes off beforehand. Lux picks up the kill. Beautiful play uh, coming out from uh, both teams, actually. Zed was there. He was there for the safeguard, just went off a little bit too late. And the Iron Wall just wasn't going to have it. 
Ooh, it's a nice try on hitting that cask with the flash and ooh, beautiful grab picking up Lulu anyway. And oh no, is Zed gonna survive this? No, he doesn't. Great job by Lux getting a beautiful one-on-one -on -one kill against the Zed. And that's something you never want to do. You never want to die in a 1v1 situation. Uh, especially in laning phase. It's very, very bad. It's almost always an issue. Oh no, this is not good. And now, yeah, Varamis easily feeds that kill over to Ezreal. And Atrax trying to go up against Jarvan once again, but he's having some difficulties. He gets popped up and the ultimate now popping out and then forcing the flash out of Jarvan. And I don't know how this is going to... Yeah, I really don't know how this is going to transpire now. Since he already used his ultimate, this could be bad. Jarvan's going back in. Waits for the ultimate to be over, and this could be bad. Oh, a nice, nice job with Lux coming up. Yep, real easy save. So she's able to get the shield, able to get an assist. Atrex ends up going down. He has Ghost instead of Flash. It's just, I don't know. I don't know if he's playing properly anymore. I think he was a little bit too cocky about his abilities. And I mean, he was 2 0 and 0, and now he's 2 2 and 0, and behind in CS. So it's just not a good situation for him to be in. Oh, this is not good. Red team has a ward in both brushes, so they know that they don't see him. Ramus is just going to wait for Ezreal to come back. Ezreal is so close to coming back. This could be a very dangerous situation, and oh, a huge, huge job, and a nice. Nice giant growth followed by the ultimate coming out from Ramus. He gets the taunt off and very, very low is both this Blitzcrank and the Lee Sin. Lee Sin is going to be able to retreat. And now the barrier coming up. Twitch gets the double kill on it. This could be a very dangerous position once again for Twitch, but it's going to be enough. So it ended up being a two for two exchange, but Twitch gets the double kill once again. Twitch is five, two and one, 65 CS. I mean, he has died a couple times, but so has Ezreal. But getting those five kills is absolutely monstrous. He is going to be very dangerous very, very soon. Now Ramus ends up stealing the blue buff. He tries to get away with it, but Antraxia. Or Atrox, sorry. I keep saying Atrax. I don't know. Atrax sounds better than Atrox. That's what I'm going with. That's my excuse I'm going with. Oh, Jarvan coming in. Is he? Ooh. Nice living shadow. Way to be aware. Sid could have been in a very bad position there, but he was paying attention, and that's all that's all he needed to do. Oh, and beautiful grab going on to Lulu, but there are still minions there. Giant growth now coming out. Nothing much is going to happen. One more auto attack. Yes, Twitch picks up the kill. That is the sixth kill. Like I was, man, Lulu seems to be getting caught out a lot. That's her sixth death in 14 minutes. I really don't know if she she actually mains support. This is very interesting. I didn't expect her to main support. Oh no, Ezra throws out the ult and the beautiful taunt coming out. And that is an instant explosion. Great pickup for them. So the red team's trying to do as much as they can. I mean, they're still up by 1,000 gold. Even though they're down by two kills, they're up by 1,000 gold. And that is going to help them in the long run. Ooh, nice pop-up coming out from Aatrox. And now he's going to throw out the ultimate. Jarvan in a pretty tough position. Ooh, nothing much is going to happen from that. It's fair. I would have liked to see Tower Dive. But you can't always get what you want.
Oh, and now this is not good. He does go into his passive, and bam, the Lux Laser hits him right when he comes out. So that was a really good job from the red team. Once again, just collapsing on Aatrox. And Aatrox is in a very tough situation once again. And now Lux is 3-1-2, and two, giving her a huge advantage. Lee Sin trying to get a Dragon's Rage back onto somebody, but now he's getting completely caught out of position. And he is trying to go in for some assistance, but ooh, Dragon's Rage! And Ezreal picks up the double kill, one on Twitch, one on Lee Sin. And that is wonderful play by them. Ezreal doesn't have any more mana. He can't do anything, but Lux is in the mix, and oh, she's going to back off as well. She has her laser up. I think she possibly could have picked someone up with that. No, it doesn't look like they were low enough. It could have been It could have been really good, though. Lux just wasn't there for the beginning of that team fight, so that's a little unfortunate. That could have been turned around drastically, but... Lux is still doing a great job, and that's really all that matters. She's at 141 CS, still about 20 behind Zed, and wow, Aatrox is getting absolutely destroyed. Great job by Blue Team, picking up a tower. Zed, oh, use the Living Shadow to avoid the laser. Beautiful play, and does he pick up the kill? No, it doesn't quite look like it, and he does end up falling down to the combination of Ezreal. And, oh wow, Twitch actually ends up picking up the kill with the help of Lee Sin. And Lee Sin gets that dragon. Blue team picked up the dragon. They really needed that dragon. They're still down by about 500 gold. Oh, and a great, great grab coming out from him. And Ezreal's in a very peculiar position. Is he going to be able to get out? No, he will not. But Lee Sin gets away scot-free. And now, ooh, a nice flash coming out. Is it going to work? Ooh, Power Fist now going down. Twitch is going to flash over the wall. And will he finish up the kill? Oh, is it going to... The poison, yes, it does end up picking it up. Oh, I thought she was almost going to have that shield up. That would have been really annoying. Very annoying indeed. Kills are completely tied, 15 to 15. Red team is still up by about 600 gold. And it's very challenging to find out why they're up by that much. They do have quite a bit of assists, but so does blue team. Towers are tied, the red team is down by one dragon. So, it, I mean, it's not the CS differences because that's in no one's real advantage, but 700 gold. Even then, it still isn't all that much. Twitch is still hoarding out all of the kills, which is both good and bad. Cataclysm now coming out, but a huge counter. Nope, absolutely nothing. Oh, that is going to... Is Zed going to throw out his ultimate or not? No, he's going to use his flash. Zed wanted to save his ultimate for something, and a huge giant growth coming out under Ramus. Now Ramus gets Dragon Rage into his team. Ezreal is now kicked up in the air. Twitch may be going for it. This is a very scary situation. Oh man, that is not good. He eats the power ball and nice job actually aggro's the tower because he did get hit by that power ball. So great thing about Lee Sin, he's definitely doing it right. Oh, and this could be a beautiful follow-up. No, they will not actually follow it up, but they will waste this time recalling, which is good as well. Leeson is behind by so much, he really needs to catch up. Ramus is 4-1-6 with 90 CS. Leeson is 4 kills behind, 1 assist ahead, but also 15 CS behind. So Leeson definitely has some ganking to do, and now a Aatrox is going to get pinged out from here and 
Yeah, it doesn't look like the red team is going to have too much to worry about. Ramus flashes over the wall. He's going to get a beautiful taunt down on Aatrox. And now Lee Sin is going to do as much as he can. Oh, he's going to throw on that safeguard. Is it going to be enough, though? Ram is getting so close to dying. And, oh, Aatrox is still alive from his passive. This could be very dangerous. He's almost dead. And Twitch picks up the double kill. Driver now coming in the mix. Puts on that Cataclysm. And Ezreal... Ooh, he doesn't actually pick up the kill, which I thought he was going to. Ooh, Power Fist coming out, but I think the Flag Toss should be able to pick it up. Yeah. So he turned around and tried to Power Fist him originally, but he canceled his auto attack animation. So unfortunately, it did not go through. And that really sucks. He might have been able to get away if it had not been for that. Uh, he just tried to run away before the animation completely went off. Zed picks up a second tower and this could be very very good for them. Oh man Jarvan is doing a great job of just staying alive and a beautiful taunt coming out from him. Giant growth from Lulu keeps him alive. Red team is doing a beautiful job now. They're really starting to come together as a team. They're up by about 1,300 gold, so it's still not anything massive. But I think the only thing that's really keeping them in this game is the fact that uh, Zed keeps pushing down a lot of these towers. Oh no. Aatrox's getting squashed by three members. Oh wow, it does actually get spotted out. Aatrox is now in a tough position, gets a laser down, and that is a real easy pickup for the red team. Red team looks like they're picking on for the top, the middle top tower. This inner top tower is pretty important. It's going to grant them quite a bit of bearing control as well as complete control over the opponent's blue buff. The blue team's blue buff basically belongs to the red buff if they get this tower. Oh, a nice taunt right away. Throwing out the ultimate. Blitzcrank has nowhere to go. He is going to use his flash, but Jarvan can easily close the gap in Cataclysm. Jarvan now has a killing spree. This is where things start getting interesting. Killing sprees will provide quite a bit of gold if killed by the right person. So if Twitch can pick up a kill on that Jarvan, that... That could be a very bad position for him, let's just say that. Oh man, a huge combo with Ezreal, Jarvan, and Lux. That was absolutely beautiful. It was two global ultimates with a pop-up to keep them in place. Didn't even need his Cataclysm on that one, but... Wow, overall, really great job. And the Living Shadow is going to have to come out. No, it's not going to be enough. He is going to go down before he can even get out. And that is going to be another Power Fist, but they do lose Tower. Light Binding does miss. Nice try by Lux. That could have been a very dead Blitz Crank if Lux would have landed that. But they got there for the. They got the Tower, and that's kind of what they went there for. It took them a while, but they got it. And Ramus is trying to push down this middle tower as well, which he does successfully. A lot of people don't realize, but his ultimate does do damage to towers. It's not a lot of damage. That's just one of the few ultimates that will actually do damage to a tower. Man, Twitch with red buff is a very scary rat. Very, very scary rat. The thing is, he's still extremely squishy. He doesn't really have much to protect him. He has Blitzcrank, which brings people closer, which is very scary. He has the Dragon's Rage from Lee Sin, and he has the pop-up coming out from Aatrox, which will help. Ooh, the grab actually missing the landing onto a minion. Ram is getting 
Giant Growth and Dragon Strike out of there. The Flash from Zed is going to be able to get him out of there, but he's still getting rocked. Aatrox going hard in deep. Kills the Lux. Still has his ultimate. Ends up going out. And, oh man, Aatrox still trying to get anybody down. But that blue Ezreal just kites so hard. And Twitch throws out the barrier. Is he going to survive? That's going to be a double kill for him. But he will end up dying to the Ezreal. And Ezreal is still taking damage from that tower. That was quite a bit of damage. Great job by Ezreal, but also just overall great job for the red team. They should be able to take down this inner middle tower. Yep. Now the red team is pinging off on Dragon. This is a mildly risky Dragon. It's 26 minutes in. Ezreal doesn't really have a lot of damage. And... She is not, yeah, okay. I didn't expect them to go for it, even though they were pinging for it. I really didn't expect them to go for it. It would have been a little bit too dangerous for them. I don't approve of that kind of danger. Oh, uh, Ezra's gonna solo it. Of course, because that's what he does. Basically stayed at the same amount of HP the whole time, so. That was nice, but if he got caught out of position, which he probably knew wasn't going to happen, since all their big threats were dead or just recently spawned. Um, the only thing is, is that blue team could have had time to coordinate and start going onto that Baron. Uh, but now that the red team knows that the blue team had wards there, but not anymore, they could definitely set up a trap, and this is where... This is where it begins, basically. Ooh, nice living shadow to avoid the pop-up. Ooh, grab just barely missing from Blitzcrank. I don't think it would have done anything though. Oh, grab! Just so close to hitting Jarvan. Jarvan turned around like the last millisecond. I can't believe he actually turned around. He had like a sixth sense that sense that coming. Ooh, nice light binding down. This is a very bad situation. And the flash right onto the taunt. Aatrox is going down very fast. And the Dragon's Rage saving his life. But the Cataclysm is going to bring him back in this fight. And Zedin's picking up Ezra, which is a great, great pickup. And Twitch is in a very dangerous position. But they're able to pick it up. Oh my gosh, that was a very, very close. Holy cow. And Jarvan, wow, Jarvan picks up a really easy kill. I have not seen a Trinity Force in quite some time, and now Twitch, he will get popped up, he'll get auto attack, and that's a lot of auto attack so, so fast. And that is going to be a double kill for the Jarvan. Jarvan doing work on the opposing blue team. So that's basically a 4 for 4 exchange. Zed doing as much as he can to this Jarvan, but Jarvan just seems like he's too fed. Once again, catching out the Blitzcrank. Gonna be able to taunt him, but oh, the Power Fist is going to initiate. Now, Ramus is completely cut out of position, but he's able to tank three members of the blue team. Ezra's ult just skims past all three of them. That could have been an excellent sniper ult, but unfortunately, they all kind of just parted ways. They're like, we really don't want to mess with this Ramus. He's way too tanky right now. Ramus has so much armor and magic resist, especially armor. I mean, he... He's a guardian angel of thorn mail and a sunfire cape plus his defensive ball curl is Just disgusting how tanky he is right now plus how much damage he just deals from you auto attacking him So his defensive ball curl Returns how much was that? Wow. 
120 armor and magic resist. Ooh, a beautiful grab now coming down onto Lux, and Lux does end up falling to the Twitch, and Twitch is still at full HP. He popped his barrier. This is a very dangerous situation for him to be in. He's able to pick up the last kill onto Ezreal, but he may go down from a combination of this Jarvan. Jarvan is just getting the triple kill. Is that a quadra? Oh my gosh. I think that was just a triple. And that will most likely be a surrender vote. Yeah, that was just absolute obscenities coming out from Jarvan. Jarvan did a phenomenal job that game. Uh, he started out so far behind. His team helped him back into the game. Uh, Ramus helped him with the first gank. Lux helped him with the second two. And just from there, he completely snowballed out of control. And you just don't see Jarvan's like that very frequently uh, anymore these days. So it's really nice to see. Uh, but congratulations to the red team and GG to the blue team. And again, if you guys like these videos, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. And, uh, of course, if you have any requests for champions or players that you want to see, uh, make sure to let me know in the comment section below or send me a message. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow. Peace.